Hi guys, hello, welcome back to another episode of Monster Train. It is me, Cranberry. How's it going? Hopefully you're having a pretty good one. Nothing really new to talk about at the start here. Um, I did try to record an episode yesterday before going to work, but um, unfortunately, about 20 minutes into the episode, I did lose the run, and I didn't have enough time before going to work to attempt another another run in that episode, so I just deleted the recording there, cut it there, went to work. But uh, hey... You know what? Hopefully today goes differently. Maybe, maybe I can uh, get a W here. Anyway, let's hop in. Just ate a whole bunch of tortellini, so my my tummy. Uh, I wouldn't say it's feeling unwell. It, it's just I, I think I ate a little too much. So hopefully that won't distract me. Uh, we got Daedalus, Fell, Seraph, the Diligent. Um. Things to keep in mind here. I hate Tethys. Seraph the Diligent is going to maybe cause some problems for us too for a big spell slinger deck. We'll see what happens though. <laughs> One of these is just strictly better. I don't like. Hold on, hold on. Real quick. What's the maximum health Tethys can have? Is it like 10? Maybe like 12? Um. 12 health. So if we take Mark of an Exile and go Handheld Totem 3, we will have one more HP than taking Hammer Chest Plates. That's just sad. That is just sad. What do we got? Oh, There's Handheld, but I'm going to take Chillwind. Uh, you know. That's a pretty easy one if you ask me. Merchant of Steel Stygian Banner? Sure. That this is weak early, but like I like having this money for the for the first banner. Hopefully it works out well for us. Spikes three. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. I am afraid of multi strike marksmen though. But not mark. These are. Are you marksmen or are you crossbowmen? Foot your foot soldiers? Wow, that's crazy. Guess let's uh, heal up here. Okay. Seen better starts than this. We're looking to take a lot of damage here. I don't know. Okay, that's good. That say that saves a lot of HP. We'll free the restore for now. We can do something like this and hope that our, our frostbite damage is enough to get us through here. Um So you're gonna hit, you're gonna hit. Um hit, hit, you go to ten, you go to three. Do you regen you two? No, it doesn't change anything. Um. Does this change anything? Wow, we get one extra hit. This son of a bitch has two HP left. Okay, well we can live with that. Interesting to note that the pyre hit there does hit them both and we take spikes damage even though the uh... The big man does die during that hit. Um, listen, I'm all I'm all on that mollusk mage grind. Let me let me let me see it. Ooh, and let me see a glimmer. Mollusk mage glimmer, you love to see it. Coming to the merchant of steel. Incant multi strike. Would like to see an angry siren, but we'll we'll accept a uh, uh, normal siren here. I think too. That's fucked up, man. I mean, we're gonna take Lodestone, it's still good. But that is frigged. That is extremely frigged up, man, that you would do this to me. Um. <laughs> that's just sad. Um. 
I'm down to roll, honestly, just to look for a, a, a plus 25 here, or maybe another in-camp armor upgrade. But, um... This is just morally reprehensible, I would say. Um, I like plus 25 over, over in-camp. I'd like to have a little bit of a base HP. So, it doesn't get absolutely murdered. And, uh, yeah. Uh, can we, can, now here's the question, right? If we infuse Mollus Mage into Lodestone Totem, can we get there? Is that good enough? And I, I bet the answer is no, but, like, I do want to try it. It's a, it's a move I haven't tried yet. Plus four, haste. I think we can do this. There's some pretty bad draws here that end up just absolutely ruining us. We got the glimmer, so we're okay now. I'm positive. This, this can't go wrong. There we go, and you know what? We'll snipe it here. I'll take the collector on this one. There we go. Everyone dies. Rocks fall. Put this in here. Armor up a little bit. Kill you. Okay, we win, but it's, you know, a little bit dicey, but not too much. Cool. I like Siphon because it's, it's a zero-cost spell here. We're probably going to need, you know, as many cheap spells as we can get. And I like Steel Enhancer for the same reason, but Restoration is a pretty good spell, especially with that, uh, that Mollus Mage. I can imagine we end up needing this damage and whatnot. And now we get the Nameless Siren. Okay, I see how it is, game. I see how it is. Fuck you. Um, we gotta go right side, I think, to find some upgrades for the Siren, though. I see, I see how it is. Okay, you know what? Hey, hey. All, Monster Train, all is forgiven. That's a really great shop for us here. So I'm, I'm good with that. Uh, we're gonna get like a uh, b b b none of these. None of these are what I want. Then we just skip there. And with the divine horde, rationing skills is a big infusion of, infusion of HP for this upcoming combat. But I don't think we need it, so I'll just take the sigil seaweed. Come to the caverns. What do you got here for me, caverns? Um, Hellhorn's got some Rage Synergy cards, and we have, you know, armor, so du armor doubling could be good, too. Um, yeah, let's see what we Hellhorn has for us here. I like Dark Deal. Dark Deal's pretty sick with what we got going on right now. I think we just take Energy first, and then Card Draw next. We want to be able to play, like, Siren and Lodestone on turn one. Or, or not Siren and Lodestone. Well, we want to be able to play Siren and Lodestone too on turn one. We want to be able to play Siren and then Tethys and then be able to play Lodestone turn two if we need to. So, yeah. What are we doing for infusions here? I do still like Mollus Mage into Lodestone. What do we do with this Siren? I'm not sure what yet. I mean, you know, hopefully just another Siren would be good. Whatever we can find, though. To infuse into it will be pretty tight. Um, seems fine to me. Okay. Mm, put you in front. Doesn't really matter. And now we just we just sling them spells.
I guess Ma's Mage does fit in here, huh? There we go, everyone's dead. On the top floor, yes, nice. Good. Good, good, good. I, I, you know, this is, this is gonna work. Um, yeah, I guess we do this. Doesn't really matter too much. You don't have any sap on you, but you're about to get some. Bingo, bango. Nice. Energy first card drawn next. We're looking for like split anvil could be pretty cool. Wildwood Tome is fine. But not that great when we're on our plan is just to sap everything down to nothing. Is is Shard Channeler good as an infusion here? No, it's not. Let's skip that. These are all bad. These are all very not good. We're gonna skip. Take the energy. Maybe we just don't put an infusion on the siren here. I don't know. I don't know. I guess we go left and look, take one more look at a, at a at a banner here for a good infusion target. Um. Let's remove these. You know what we could do? We could duplicate the Siren and then just not play Tethys. Tethys is kind of dookie unless we see Conduit here. If we see Conduit, then we can play Tethys and be pretty happy about it. But we need it like now, kind of. Okay, well, you know what? Let's look around. Let's see what we got. Value Stone's kind of cool, but not amazing. True Stone is sick. Love a True Stone from the Glimmer here. How many temples we got? We got a temple here, temple here, temple here, temple here, temple here. Okay, so temples. We got a lot of temples coming up. Let's look at the banner here, see what we got. Okay, I'm down I'm down with this siren. I'm down. We're it's gonna be pretty high on shards here, but I think it'll be okay. We're gonna go siren into siren. I think we're going to duplicate just a good spell. Let's duplicate a good spell here. What's our best spell that doesn't cause us to take extra shards here? Ah. Uh. Maybe just dark deal. Zero cost. Like the damage. Seems good. Okay. Pretty good combat for us, I'm sure. I think we can even heaven seal it too. Let's play top floor. Should be able to ramp up in time. Should be able to neutralize the growth as well. We'll just pick him off too, I suppose. This is why we took energy first, so we can play this down this turn. Hey, look at that. We are making big gains. Kill. Kill. Okay. This floor's a little scary. A little less scary now, I'll say. But not a free win by any stretch here either. We still need to, you know, actually kill these fools. Although the, the the scary ones are actually neutralized, so they got hit by the sigil seaweed. Yeah, we're good. Okay. 
would like uh would like uh blood for blood on this run. That'd be a pretty good pickup for us for sure. Blood for blood could be cool. Um, what else would be like? I don't know. Put you in here. I don't know what else we want on this run. Maybe we want to... Oh, yo. Curse Vines is great. I love Curse Vines here. Glacial Seal. No. <laughs> Focus Growth is good, but I think we have enough healing. We can take the Ensnare on this one. And then what do you do from here? Spell upgrades are good, don't get me wrong. Would love a holdover for the Glimmer. But we could just Relic Hunt. There's some pretty good Relics we can get here. Sap Tap is good. A anything that's like energy related here, like Split Anvil could be great. A lot of great choices. So I think I'll go left here. Forgot about Founding Seal. Maybe that should have been one of my first ones I said. Don't want to say it's GG, but it's looking it's looking pretty donezo here. Uh, Vapor Funnel is kind of unnecessary because we're just going to sap them to Oblivion. Faulty Loader, there's a good argument for because, we, you know, we're, we're weakest against the first waves as we're incanting up. You know what? Sure, I think we can take that. This is a bit of like an insurance policy. I think we go Mollus Mage into the Lodestone now. So we have like guaranteed access to that spell damage boost. Any good values on targets here? Not really, like, Crypt Builders, like, there's an argument for it, but it's not a good argument. Um, and what's in our, what's in our temple here? I'll give you some coins first. Then I'll pay with health. I mean, this doesn't do nothing for us. We want to play top floor most of the time, so if there's units that, that put curses in... I guess this is okay. Just to stall him for a round. It doesn't do much for us. Like, I, I think the, the fell combat we had, because for once I actually looked at what we had coming up as far as fell was concerned, it's the, it's the fell that puts armor on units, and I think that fell might... I, I know that curse fell obviously has units that put curses in too, which is why it's such a hassle. But I think this this spell variant might also do it. I forget. I don't remember. Um, uh, multi strike. Sure, you're not gonna you're not gonna do any damage in the first place. So you can uh, you can do no damage twice. That's that's, that's tight. Okay. Ooh. Maybe this is just net armor. We'll play that. Yeah, we're in a good spot. We're getting 10 damage on our Siren for every single spell we play. Okay. I think we got this one wrapped up. Maybe something could go wrong, I don't know, but I'm, I'm just thinking. I'm looking at it, I'm, I'm seeing it. How does this go wrong for us? How does this run go wrong? We're gonna play on times four now because this is taking too long to play a single spell. Your silence here, you can have this. No harvest for you. Seaweed's, seaweed's putting in like overtime here. What the fuck, man? Look at seaweed go. It doesn't miss. Siphon. Hit ya. Pass the turn. Okay. For the first time, we actually had a shot of taking some damage here, but... 
I will immediately be dashed. Your hopes and dreams are nothing. Come to the front. We'll use this for now. Put that here. Oh, hey, something to note. Wow, Dark Deal does 15 damage because of the, uh, the Mollus Mage. I forgot about that. Okay. So worth it, but something to keep in mind there. Um, yeah. Don't kill Tethys. Not, not allowed. Okay. Cool, cool. Ooh, hey. Extra spell slot. That's tight. Drain, uh, you know. Pretty complimentary, I would say, with the with the uh, sap we're applying. So we can take that, skip these. And... What are we looking at here? Well, we just got, we just got extra spell slots, so I'm inclined to go left side here. In addition to that, we get removals. Yeah, that seems pretty good to me. Da, da, da. Train steward's gone. No more units in our deck. Seek stone. That's cool. What do you? I think you seek stone the glimmer and give it hold over. Let's see you have it from turn one every time. So you can immediately counteract the sweep damage on top floor. But I don't think it matters too much. Stack stone. Why not? Like, it doesn't matter really at this point. Um, make you zero cost. Let's give you a plus 10 too. And let's go. Hello, Fell. Do you have any units that that put curses in our deck here? Not on the first floor, at least. Um. It appears we've been slightly hoodwinked, by the way. I can't play my glimmer. This is horrible. Just heal you right back up. I don't know. Hold the vine grasp for next cycle. Vine grasp was secretly one of the best relics we could have found here. I mean, obviously the incant relic is as uh, better. But it is cool to have just a guaranteed spell every turn, basically. That costs zero. In a, in a deck like this, that's like a really good thing for our early rounds. Um, and, uh, I don't know. There you go. Got 15 sap on a... Or 12 sap, sorry. Why did I, why I think it was 15? It was 13 tick down to 12, but, you know, brain. Hang on to this for later. Play all of our spells, kill all of the people. 50-50, let's go. Nice. It's all about that incant scaling. What is nice about this is that, you know, if and when units do manage to leak through, they're just gonna get absolutely, like, obliterated by the pyre still, because they're gonna have eight, eight, you know, hundred sap on them.
you go. Cause like we're not we're not great at killing like bigger waves. Like the siren kills two units. Tethys can kill a backliner, but that's it basically. And our spells aren't great for killing units either. They don't do much in that regard. So we're gonna be pretty dependent on just the the pyre killing things, which it'll do, it'll do a good job of doing. Boop. Business as usual. We already win. We gotta give him a little BM. There you go. Synergy here has gotta be the pick, right? It's a great spell. Use the spell damage, sure. Now we take card draw. You could argue that we could take, uh, what's it called? We could take size upgrade there and just play two sirens, which is not bad. Like, Tethys isn't doing anything, but I would just prefer to have card draw so we can get more incants with Lodestone Totem. I think that's a little, little bit better for us here. The more reliable way to win, I guess. Um, Merchant of Steel doesn't do anything. Let's go to the left side, remove some, you know, not so good cards. I guess we get rid of both crit builders here. Value stone? Extreme stone. Had to be done. We're pumping up the shard count by a lot. But it is fun to pop off some big ancient synergies here, so let's do that. Can we get a conduit in here? We can get one conduit. That's cool. Spikes 5 will kill T Conduit Tethys very quickly, but we don't care about Tethys. That's fine. Mm. We miss an in-camp, I think it's worth, it's worth killing these birds. Just to, just to alleviate the spike damage that Siren will be taking this early. I don't think it matters too much. We'll, we'll self... We'll self... Uh, we'll self grasp before Lodestone Totem gets onto the, the uh, field here. Preserve a restore. Maybe Tethys will just live. Maybe maybe <laughs> Tethys will never get a chance to attack. It is possible, I suppose. In the turn. Grass. Plants. Freeze a restore. Yeah, Tethys lives. That's, that's wild. Now this guy we gotta be careful of. He's a he's a son of a gun. I mean our siren already wins the 1v1 it looks like, but you know, still. We gotta be careful. And Tethys does get one hit off here. You could sap down below, but it doesn't matter. It mostly comes up before you make it up here. Um. 
Good type is back to full. I was hoping to get a big, uh, a big synergy on you, but oh well. I thought it would have looked cool, but you know, it's fine. Take my money. Take an ice empire, why not at this point, right? Um skip these. We will move on to wherever the spell shop is. Thank you, thank you. Oh, what's in the, it's another temple, right? What do, we, what do we got in the temple here? Quinstone? Mm. We can take a good chunk of shards here just for fun. Uh, I don't think Twinstone's that good, though. Even if we're trying to get a lot of, a lot of shards here. I mean, we, obviously it gives us more shards, but... You know, I'm not trying to be reckless out here. <laughs> Stack stone. Sure. What's in our trinket shop? Before we do any re-rolling, what's going on in here? Maybe could have, should have considered uh, checking out the guild maker or guild marker here, not guild maker. Um, but oh well. Okay, this is all more or less worthless. This here. Roll it. Not that we need it, but dang, no holdovers. What the heck? Okay. Get another synergy in here. Pretty tight. Get to remove some of our stinkier cards. AKA our, our frozen lances, I think. What's our, what's our stinkiest? Yeah, he's got a frozen lance here, I think. There's still free incants, obviously, but restore will always have a target. That and not that frozen lance doesn't, you know, it doesn't need a target. But they're both they're, they're both just not good. I don't have to justify myself. Anyway, um, let's go. Let's uh do a murder down here so we don't get the Oh you're you're dazed actually, never mind. No need no need for murder. We'll just we'll just uh, come up here. Uh oop, oop. Oop. There you go. Put this down. Preserve or restore for next turn. Unfortunately, take one here. Has to be done. I know our score, how terrible. Uh, let's bring you to the front to make sure you definitely die. Oh, yeah, we're good here. Okay. Uh, GG. Opens a wrap. They're gonna be putting a lot of curses in here, but we should have the energy to play through it. With little little issue, I would say. Um You're dazed. That's tight. Frozen Lance actually does kill this guy too, so that's pretty cool too. Nice. Frozen Lance, I'm sorry I doubted you. our damage. Keep stacking up the incants. 
Some of these look like they really matter too much. I do like the the Curse Vine's anti uh, diligent tech of just being able to play it to consume spells. That's always a fun one. Not super relevant in this match because we don't really have any like super high priority holdover spells or any holdover spells to begin with. But it is something to keep in mind for the future. Without our spells. You're lucky you're a stealth coward. Not that it would actually matter. I don't think we actually hit through at all to him, but still. Um. Pop, pop. Pop. We could have maybe played bottom floor and gotten a higher score here. We didn't have, like, much of an actual reason to play on the bottom, I guess. I don't know. Doesn't really matter too much. Because, uh, you know. I'm just in it for the W. Yeah, the Seraph is sapped up and clapped up here. I think the Divinity is just going to go as well, if not better, basically. Uh, maybe we'll have more trouble because there's more units in the Divinity Waves. And by more trouble, I mean... More enemies leaking up to the Pyre and then dying. Uh, we'll see how things go. Um... happen here this guy you gotta watch out for he's a little spooky but not really that spooky um this doesn't actually kill him so we'll just play up here but he can camp These guys walk, that's no problem. Let's just snare you. Let's get you separated from this wave. Seems like it'll work well. Puts him in the front too, which is nice. A little added bonus. Um... you with the Ice Empire there into Grassman of Synergy here into the Dark Ritual here Bingo Bango not looking too shabby should have played Preserve first no point in risking uh, pitching it but whatever not a big deal um Rosenlands kill up front into Ice and Pyre again. Synergy again, everyone dies. Let's purge your spell shield. Seems worthwhile. Make sure we can definitely get the kill right there. The big boy here is dead. You know what? Round two. Save and preserve still. We might need it on this floor because these backliners are going to do some pretty, pretty big damage. Except I lied, they might just both die. Um, oh, one of them doesn't die. I don't think. 
But one of them I think is going to be fully sapped out, it looks like. Or close to it. Oh yeah, he's fully sapped. Oh, and he's also getting killed by Siren, so yeah, we're good. We're good, we're good. Preserve this. Sap, you get you, get you sap down now, too. Um, like this is pretty much GG, right? Looking like it. Pretty bad draw here, though, I'll say. And by bad, I mean... Um, killing them in the pyre room. And that's it. Grasp. Hey, why are you still alive? Hold on a second. You can't be here. There we go. Okay, we're good. And we're already winning the Relentless. Spell shield, let's pick that off. Synergy through. Ice Empire. Um Yeah. Not bad. Not a world record for sap production, but pretty good I'd say. Um Man, imagine if we had just gone all in on duplicating uh, Lodestone Totems there, though. With the in camp, that could have been pretty cool. Could, we could have been in Sap City. But anyway, that's the run. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. Um, and I will see you next time after showing you this run seed. What do we got? What do we got for today's seed? We've got... Sources, document, pleasure. That's porn. That's, that's pornographic images right there. Anyway, goodbye.